Remember putting together these simple 60-piece kids puzzles? Well, now imagine doing a 1,500-piece puzzle, 3D, with the pieces going up, down, and even sideways. Now there's a challenge. Flat puzzles are well known by everyone, but 3D puzzles present a different challenge. These three-dimensional puzzles are first conceived with computer software. Good blades are needed to cut puzzle pieces. Here are the blades for the master die, which will cut out printed sheets of different models. This rubber will be used to eject the die. The master cutting die is unique to each puzzle. It is the specific pattern used to make the puzzle. They measure it meticulously to obtain a perfect register. It's imperative that the die not move during the cutting, otherwise the pieces would be cut at the wrong points, so they very firmly secure it in place. The carbon of the die is positioned. It's somewhat like printing the master. Alignment is again verified, a highly important step which assures the quality of the final product. Finally, they install this large metallic plate which is the cutting base. It will be on this surface that the master die will strike. Once measurements are finished, the drawer of the die is slid into place. This press cuts the pattern seen on the puzzle. Here's how it works. The sheets, or printed cardboards, go into the drawer one by one, where they are cut according to the master model. We clearly see the press making the cut in the puzzle sheet. The cut sheets pile up on one another, And at this checkpoint, they verify the precision of the cut. They make sure that every piece is correctly shaped. Now they go to the foam support of the puzzle. This guillotine is used to cut the polyethylene sheets onto which they will glue the cut images. Sheets are inserted into this laminator heated to 232 degrees centigrade. The sheet with the design on it is glued onto the foam with a thermo setting adhesive. Now they glue the printed sheet onto the foam sheet. Once the adhesion is finished, the puzzles are stacked on one another and they proceed to the unbuckling operation. By pulling, they remove the surplus cuttings. The same design is printed several times on a sheet, so they must separate each puzzle. This step is called the reduction of the models. Now the pieces have to be separated. This decorticator handles this task and sends the pieces down a chute. Packing cartons arrive already made up and the puzzle pieces are placed in their boxes. No less than 15,000 puzzles are produced here each day. Since it began operations, the company has created more than 300 different puzzle models, from quite simple ones to much more complex designs. The largest of them contain a total of 3,146 pieces. And you need real patience for this one.